Amazon brands are still not allocating their PPC spend correctly across variation listings. I want to take a few minutes and show you how to use Scale Insights to easily see which variations you should be spending on. So diving right into Scale Insights here, I want to show you one thing, one little graph that you might be missing and how we can easily go through on their page and see where our spend is going. So all I am is I'm just going to start on the main homepage, go to the parent ASIN and dive into one of my parent ASIN because even us as a team, a lot of the reports that we send out are parent ASIN based. So obviously we're, we're pulling data from every ASIN involved, but it's very easy to get lost in that main figure. And this is a great example is we have this parent ASIN right here that said a 10.7% tacos. Very healthy, right? It's a very healthy product. It's going well, everyone's happy, but there's always more that we can do. So that's what we're always looking at here. So if I um, expand this, right? And just click this little arrow down here to see all the children ASIN. You can see there's a lot of variations on this product. So our two big sellers are this one right here. So we have sales of 7,100 and 6,600 for 30 days. But right away, the ad spend is not perfectly distributed. So our best seller is spending $1,000. And our second best seller is spending $600 more than that. So 150% more, right? And as we go down here, you see the rest of them don't have that much spend and that's what we want. So that's something, that's a main point that I wanna make here is when you have a variation listing, you shouldn't be spending equally across every single variation, right? There should be a maybe a little bit of spend into all of them, but you need to keep the spend between the two or three best sellers and then look for those little incremental changes that you can do to continually optimize. So this is what I'm looking at right here. The two biggest sellers seeing, hey, actually we wanna shift this spend around because this one is pulling in more sales, right? Okay, and now one thing, the screen that I'm talking about that we're missing is if I scroll all the way over here, right? First off, there's no tacos on this parent ASIN level. So first we wanna go to the parent ASIN level, see where there's an issue. Then I'm gonna go to the child ASIN tab up here type in the title of the parent ASIN I'm looking at. So now I have all of the children ASIN that fall under that parent. So you can see here, I have that same one, 1067 and 1600. Those are the two that I really wanna focus on here. Now we get the tacos, okay? So now we know that parent ASIN was at 10.7% tacos, but our best seller is at 15% tacos. That's fine, it's a bit of our, our loss leader, right? We wanna funnel the money there but our second best one is at 24% tacos. So think about if we change the spend just a little bit and even this out, this is going to make a huge difference. And this is the thing that I think all of us may miss. If you scroll all the way over on the child ASIN tab, you get a profits trend. So Scale Insights is great, right? About always adding stuff and having stuff we might be missing. So if you scroll all the way over, you're gonna see that you can just look at a very simple graph and get an idea of, okay, some of these variations are falling into the red now and then, right? Like this one, maybe we stop spending on this variation because it's not a huge um, volume mover for us. And are we really getting anywhere with this little bit of spend that we're doing here? So this is where just looking at a very simple graph can give you an idea and now I want to dive into an Excel spreadsheet so we can get a little more control. I always like to copy or attack a problem from two different angles, okay? So all you're going to do is export that data on the child ASIN level, okay? So we're going to export that data and then open up Excel. And I deleted a lot of columns to make this easier for us to look at here, and I'm going to zoom in as well. All this is is that same exact parent ASIN we were looking at with all of the children. And then I made sure to just add a simple filter so we're only looking at those children ASIN. I've done this before in the past, but even with the tool I scale insights, 
this metric makes our job so easy, okay? You sum up your total sales. So this parent ASIN had 45,000 in total sales and had 4,900 in total spend, okay? Then all I'm doing is dividing each child ASIN's total sales by the parent ASIN's total sales, same thing with spend. Right away, we see the big gaps. The two that we were looking at were these two here, okay? So this and this. These two child ASIN are making up over 50% of our spend. That's where we want to start. We want to say, hey, where is the majority of our spend going and how do we shift that to better children right away? And all this is gonna be doing is going into campaigns and saying, hey, maybe pause this ASIN here or break it out onto its own or pause some of these other ASIN that are really not doing a lot. Right away, I see this number, right? I see this 10%, what's this doing here? 10% of total spend, 4% of total sales. I wanna shift that around, okay? So always try to address a problem from two different angles. If you're looking at data in Seller Central, in Scale Insights, maybe write that data on a notepad or pull it out in Excel or show it to a team member so that they look at it differently and they say, hey, here's a couple outliers here. Let's address this and see how we can change this and optimize it.